Hi, I'm Nell Sanders, and this is Tell It Like It Is, where all things controversial are covered. Black Lives Matter has taken over social media, the news, and reached global status as the modern-day social justice movement. Founded by queer and non-binary women, the hashtag was first created in response to the Trayvon Martin shooting in 2013. Last Friday, two of the co-founders, Opal Tometi and Jenea Khan, spoke at Smith College in John M. Green Hall. This week, I sat down with our local Students of Color Alliance, SOCA, and heard what they thought about the event. The connection it had among so many people, like they managed to, and I, it didn't manage, I, would, I wouldn't say it managed to bring the world together, but it managed to focus a certain part of the world. It managed to focus them on a singular goal, finally, with something that was trendy. Like. Another interesting thing about the movement is that it's sort of usually in social justice movements, there's one leader, and like that person sort of leads the whole movement, and there are a lot of other individuals that work really hard, but you sort of have that name. Northampton is a liberal, but primarily white town. There have been recent rallies and posters in stores advocating support for the Black Lives Matter movement. But is that really enough to be considered a racially supportive and liberal community? I went out to interview Northamptoners. Many people didn't want to talk, some wanted to be anonymous, and others were outspoken about the role of social justice in our town. Do you ladies have a moment to talk about Black Lives Matter? Uh, no, thank you, but I, I support it. Okay, thank you. How about we support All Lives Matter? That's what we should support. Yes. That would be awesome. What's your, do you have another opinion on that? Everybody's life matters. That's not what one would expect to hear in downtown Northampton. A local resident elaborates on the role of social justice in our community. As much as we're considering ourselves a progressive liberal community, the reality of how race and class interact and how, um, what that means in terms of uh, the sort of dealing with these people sort of being seen based on their race is, is just a reality. Another anonymous resident feels similarly. He thinks liberal and progressive Northampton is, quote, superficial, and wanted to remain anonymous because, quote, if one speaks the way I speak, they get in trouble with the town, unquote. Black Lives Matter means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. Now, some people hear only Black Lives Matter. And other people hear Black Lives Matter, too. Again, I'm Nell Sanders, and this was Tell It Like It Is.